Welcome to the training video on the basics of proper sample preparation for BDMAX GBS assay, processed on the BDMAX system. The BDMAX system offers you a simplified and automated workflow, allowing you to run up to 24 samples at a time, with less than one and a half minutes hands-on time per sample. The BDMAX GBS assay detects Group B Streptococcus or GBS DNA in limb broth cultures. GBS is the leading infectious cause of morbidity and mortality among infants in the United States. Most GBS testing is performed by culture and can take up to 48 hours for definitive identification of GBS, following the initial 18-plus hour incubation of vaginal rectal swabs in a selective broth medium. The BDMAX GBS assay processed on the BDMAX system can provide results from up to 24 specimens in approximately two and a half hours after the initial 18 plus hour incubation step. For additional instructions and information, always refer to the BDMAX system user's manual and BDMAX GBS assay instructions for use. Let's get started. The BDMAX GBS assay requires vaginal rectal swabs to be inoculated into limb broth. Following incubation for at least 18 hours at 37 degrees Celsius in ambient air or 5% CO2, a 15 microliter aliquot of limb broth is used for detecting the presence of GBS. The aliquot of broth is added to BDMAX GBS sample preparation reagent and processed using the BDMAX system. The BDMAX system is loaded with BDMAX racks containing prepared sample buffer tubes, assembled unitized reagent strips, and PCR cartridges. The BDMAX system automates sample extraction, nucleic acid amplification, and detection of the target nucleic acid using real-time polymerase chain reaction, PCR. For a full list of equipment and materials required but not provided, please refer to the instructions for use. The performance and accuracy of BDMAX system assays require that specimens and components are stored in a safe and stable environment. Now we will cover how to collect, transport, and prepare specimens for testing using the BDMAX GBS assay. First, collect the vaginal or rectal swab specimen using the CDC-recommended clinical procedure. Transport the specimen to the lab in a non-nutritive transport medium, for example, Amy's or Stewart. Label specimens clearly for GBS testing. If both vaginal and rectal swabs are collected separately from the same patient, both swabs can be placed in the same transport container. Remove the swab or swabs from the transport medium and inoculate them into selective limb broth. You can create limb broth by using Todd Hewitt broth supplemented with 10 micrograms per milliliter of colistin and 15 micrograms per milliliter of nalodixic acid. Incubate the inoculated limb broth for at least 18 hours at 37 degrees Celsius in ambient air or 5% CO2. After incubation, vortex the enriched limb broth specimen to achieve uniform distribution. Remove the cap on a BDMAX GBS sample preparation reagent tube. Next, using a calibrated P100 micropipetter and an extended length pipette tip, aspirate 15 microliters of the enriched specimen into the pipette tip. The reason for using an extended length tip is to avoid contaminating the micropipetter with the enriched specimen and dispense the 15 microliters of enriched specimen into the tube, taking care not to aerosolize the specimen. Pipette the liquid up and down to ensure the complete transfer of the specimen. Finally, close the BDMAX GBS sample preparation reagent tube with a pierceable septum cap. Prepare any additional specimens for testing. 
Now, proceed to the BD Max System Operations section in the User's Manual or Assay Specific Instructions for Use to perform testing of the BD Max GBS assay on the BD Max system. We hope this program has helped familiarize you with proper specimen preparation of the BD Max GBS assay on the BD Max system. If you have any additional questions, please consult the instructions for use, user's manuals, or a BD representative.